President Ranul Vikramasinghe, serving as the Minister of Finance, presented the 2024 budget to Parliament under the theme Prelude to a Bright Future. Here is a summary of the budget speech, including key tax proposals. Refinance loan to be reduced for stakeholders in dairy rowing chain. Special program to increase milk production by 53% within 5 years to reach 20 million litres per day. This will be achieved with private sector contribution and effective use of all National Livestock Development Board owned farms. The living cost allowance for state sector employees will be increased by 10,000 rupees from January 2024 and commence payment from April 2024. Areas will be paid in six stages starting from October 2024. The Asian Development Bank will provide a concessionary loan for semi development alongside capacity building support. 50 billion rupees will be allocated for SMB development from the 2024 budget. Medical tourism development to receive a boost with an allocation of 100 million rupees. A sum of 2,500 million rupees has been earmarked for the development of the fisheries and agricultural sectors. 2 billion rupees to be allocated for the basic activities of the Ingurakkur International Airport construction in 2024. Second phase of the Central Expressway, Khadavati to Mirigama will be jointly developed with China following the completion of foreign debt restructuring process. Additionally, support from Japan will be sought for the construction of the section between Kurnagala and Galagadara. Pilot project of running 200 electric buses to be commenced jointly with Sri Lanka Transport Board in the Western Province. 3 billion rupees to establish a national center for artificial intelligence aiming for economic and social transformation. An allocation of 3 billion rupees for foreign debt restructuring treatment on international soaring bonds. The borrowing limit is to be increased by 3,550 billion rupees to 7,350 billion rupees. 20% of the shares of the two large state-owned banks to be given to strategic investors or the public to improve capital and support the future growth and reduce the burden on taxpayers. 450 billion rupees to support banking system capital improvement process. Monthly pension will be increased to 6,025 rupees. Monthly allowance for senior citizens will be increased to 3,000 rupees. Plans are underway to launch a revamped Visit Sri Lanka initiative from 2024, aiming to attract a minimum of 5 million tourists annually. 1 billion rupees allocation for the adoption of a new law pertaining to the tourism sector. 750 million rupees allocation for the development of provincial tourism boards.